Hi there, welcome back to the Ian Bullion YouTube channel. Today I'm just going to make a quick video about how to inexpensively test your gold coins and bars. Um, a lot of people use acid tests and bite down tests and even conductive tests that you have to attach electrodes to the gold bullion, which are all damaging tests. So let's have a look today at tests that don't cause any damage and that are really simple to do. So the equipment that we have here is first of all a 0 0.001 gram sensitive scale. They retail for about $20 online, easy to get. A calipers, that's also about $20 online. A neodymium magnet, that's um, N42, so pretty strong, it can lift 20 kilograms. They're under $10 online. And a pencil, um, so that's all the equipment we need. Okay, let's talk about the properties of gold, first of all. So gold is the sixth most dense metal on Earth. Gold is the third most conductive metal after silver and copper. Gold is not magnetic, so it does, it does not attract a magnet. In actual fact, there's a very, very slight repulsion when you put a magnet close to gold. And gold gives a nice ping sound when it's struck gently with a pencil. Okay, now that's a hard one to judge because it's a matter for your ear, but we'll show that test later on. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is eliminate cheap fakes, and you do that using a magnet, because any cheap fake, or a lot of cheap fakes, will have some sort of ferromagnetic material in them. Um, so, like these ones are, are cheap fakes, and you can see that also the volume is much larger than the actual volume of a real piece of gold, and that will always be the case with these uh, fakes. Uh, they're really easy to identify. So just bring your magnet out and you can see, okay, so it's magnetic. So is this one and so is this one and they can be eliminated. Then there's this sort of one here that's pretty cheap looking as well. And you can see that I can actually pick that up with the magnet. It's not strongly attracted to the magnet, but easy enough to eliminate on that basis as well. So it's important to remember that gold is diamagnetic. So that means it has this slight repulsion away from the gold. So that property allows us to um, just test it with a magnet. And we see here that essentially there's no attraction to either of these two. Now one of these coins is a fake coin. So they have done, it's a high quality fake coin. So there's nothing there that I can tell with the magnet. So then we go to the next um, property and we measure the we measure the diameter of the coin, which is 32.7, which is what it's supposed to be, and the width, which is 2.74, which is very close to what it's supposed to be as well. So we can't eliminate it on that basis. This is 32.66, so very close to what it's supposed to be. And 32, 2.79, so again, we can't eliminate that on that basis. So then we will bring it to weigh it. And if I turn this on, this should be around 33.93 grams. And we can see that it's 33.939. So again, within the margin of error there, that looks real. And this is 33.95, so that also looks real. So, have you decided which one you think is real and which one you think is fake yet? Let me give you a better look. So let's have a look at this one first. Okay, and then this one. Okay, so 
um, this is a these are we have a high quality counterfeit here with uh, 60 microns of gold surrounding a tungsten core. Now some of these properties can help us to um, eliminate further because as we said gold is the sixth densest metal. So we know that there are five denser metals so um, osmium, iridium, platinum, rhenium and plutonium are all denser than gold and in order to make a counterfeit that has the same weight and the same volume the same size then you need to use a metal you have to mix either um, a metal that's more dense with a metal that's less dense or you um, have to use something that has the same density so the metals that are more dense than gold are osmium, iridium, platinum, rhenium, and plutonium. And then tungsten has the same density as gold. And I'll give you a clue. Tungsten is nearly always the one that's used in the high quality um, counterfeits. Uh, we can eliminate most of those other metals. Osmium, iridium, and plutonium are all much more expensive than gold. So you wouldn't see them in a counterfeit. And it leaves platinum, rhenium, and tungsten. Um, rhenium in its, is usually in a powdered form and when it's compressed into a solid form it's actually less dense than gold so that usually eliminates that one. Platinum is a precious metal itself but um, so it hasn't historically been used to account for gold. Uh, it's about half the price of gold at the moment so technically it could be used to account for gold at the moment. Um, but tungsten makes perfect sense to counterfeit gold with because it's very cheap. It's only about $5 as opposed to uh, platinum, which is $900 for the same quantity of tungsten. So now let's do the sound test. Is that coin? Yeah, well, there's a very distinct ping of that coin and that's quite an effective test um, and it is usually the gold that makes that ping so when we do um, a bit further analysis we can see that it's quite likely that that's the real coin and it is in fact the real coin further to this with just what you have here you can still use your magnet to and just wave your magnet over the coin and you'll feel a slight breaking force and because gold is the third most conductive metal um, you have silver copper gold um, the breaking force if you can measure that breaking force essentially you'll be able to tell the conductivity of the coin and that's what our Eon Gold Bullion Cradle, that's, um, it's the video coming up after this one, um, does. It measures the force um, of the magnet moving over it. And how that works is that the uh, electric current is induced in the coin, and that gives an equal but opposite force back on the magnet by Newton's third law, but it's actually Faraday's law that uh, induces the current into the coin and slows down the magnet and then we can measure that on the pendulum and that tells you um, whether the coin what the conductivity of the coin is and you can compare that with a real coin so in that video I have compared these two coins and you'll see that there's a distinct difference between the two coins another point um, using the eddy current test where you have the magnet moving over it is the, one of the advantages is that of course you can do it with the bar in the package so the pendulum would uh, detect the gold bar through the package and it can still register the conductivity and give out a comparative score against that so that's one of the other advantages of the eon gold cradle testing device so that's something we're prototyping at the moment and if you're interested um, have a look at our website and you can sign up and uh, we'll email you when we're getting closer to bringing it into production. So that's it for this video. Thanks very much and um, see you in the next video.